Age Squad, welcome back to the episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode, we got this cool amazing product here and basically what this is, is a foldable beast tent. You can see the one that we got right here is from this brand and the bottom right here, the probably got some specs and features on here. And here is basically what the package looks like when you guys first get it. But I'm actually open this up to show you guys what it looks like before we actually set it up. All right, so when you guys first open up, Inside right here, they probably got a little feedback card. And right underneath that, and we see we do have extra product. So let's take it out, all right? So once you guys take it out, here is basically what the package looks like. So they do probably got a little bag with a little handle for you to carry on really easily. And they do have a little drawstring option for you guys to seal it up when you guys do put it away. And when you guys do open up. If you haven't see the tent and everything else is inside, so I don't have enough room to show you guys right here. So I will show you guys in a different room. But before I should open up, I do want to go over some of the specs and features on here first. So for the actual tent that we got right here, they mentioned how she can fit up to three to four people because it is a large tent. And then for the tent, they mentioned how she has a UV protection so that way can protect yourself from the sun. And like I mentioned for the product, it does have the ventilation because it's supposed to have like the windows throughout the actual tent. So that way you can get that fresh air when you guys actually use it. And inside the package, they do provide guys all the tools and accessories that you need to actually set it up. So that way you can hold the tent down when you guys do set it up in the grass or in the beach. And when you guys do feel the overall product, it does feel pretty lightweight, especially for a tent. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now let's bring this over to another room to set it up to show you guys what she looks like first. And then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. All right, so right here we do have the tent. Let me set it up to show you guys what it actually looks like. And we'll also take out everything to show you guys what's included inside as well. So inside they do provide guys a user manual to teach you guys how to set it up. And then right here we do have everything else. So let's open up. So inside they do provide guys the accessory right here. So let's open the small one first. So for the small baggie, they probably got this accessory. So you can probably use this to actually stick it down when you guys do set up the tent. Where for this bag, they probably got a bunch of these sticks that you can use for the foundation when you guys do set it up. So basically the first thing I wanna do is take out these sticks right here or the poles. And when you guys do take it out, this is what the inside looks like. So what you're gonna do is open it up and stick it together until each part sticks together like this. And you basically wanna do the same thing for the other one as well. And we also want to open up this part right here, which is the actual tent. So if you can see the tent inside is actually pretty big. So if you want to get help to set it up, you definitely can. But I'm going to set it up by myself for now. So in terms of sticks, there should be three different sticks. There should be an A and B, which is basically the same thing. And there's also a C option is much longer. So the first one I showed you guys earlier right there in the floor, that is a C. Whereas for these two, it's A and B. So it looks like I have to turn around to the other side to actually set it up on top. So we're gonna start by setting up A and B first. And then what you guys wanna do is just stick it in right here. There's actually a slot for you guys to stick it in. And they also have this ribbon for you to tie it when you guys put it all the way in. And then once you guys stick it all the way, there is a slot for you guys to poke it through. Same thing for this side. And that will be your foundation to actually hold it in place. All right, so we got that one in. Now let's do the same thing for B. So you guys want to stick it right here. And same thing for our side as well. All right, so we got A and B set up. And now let's work on C. So C starts right here. You guys want to go underneath it. And slide right here. All right, so let's fix the remainder part right here. Let it go all the way in. And you want to poke this part in right here. And now we can work on the other side. So as you guys are setting up C, you probably want to bring up a little bit to form the shape. All right, so we almost got it. So once you guys set it up, here is basically what the pot looks like. Then you guys want to open up the bottom part right here. So you see the whole setup process and everything took me roughly around like 15 to 20 minutes. I feel like if I had someone to help me, it would probably be a little bit faster. Let me see how big the door is on here when you guys set it up. And the way how they designed the product is actually pretty cool because they have this wide open door for you guys to walk in and out. But you also have the option to bring it up to actually close it up if you guys want to as well. So that way you can get a little bit of privacy if you guys do want to. So while I do have this closed right now, let me actually turn around 360 to show you guys what the product looks like all around. So here is the front. 
Here is the side. If you guys notice on the side, we do have this pocket. And basically what these are are some sandbag pocket so that we can put sand in here to actually hold the tent down when you guys do set up in the beach. And right here we do have the brand logo. And right here we do have a window for you guys to open it. And they actually have this mesh layer right here to prevent any kind of bugs or anything from getting in, which is pretty cool. So I will open up that in a second to show you guys what it actually looks like. Top out right here, like I mentioned, they do have the ribbon for you guys to tie it. So that way you guys can get a little bit more support when you guys do set it up. Same thing applies to the other side, but let's continue moving it. All right, so here is basically the back part. So similar design right here, we would actually have a big window so that way you can get air coming in if you guys want to. And if you guys rotate it one more time. Here is the other side that also provides you guys a sandbag option for you guys to put sand if you guys want to. And we also have another window on this side. Top out right here, we do have another ribbon for you guys to tie in. So that way you can get a little bit more support to actually hold the pole and stick together. And if you guys rotate it one more time. Now you guys are back to the front. And then like I mentioned for the sessions right here, if you guys do need to use it, feel free to use these. This is actually for you guys to stick it into the sand or the beach when you guys do set up. For a lot more support to actually hold the tent down when you guys do set up, especially when it's like super windy. But for this test, I'm not gonna show you guys how to use it so we're not at a beach. So that is basically everything that's on the outside. Let me actually open it up and then show you guys what the inside looks like when I actually go inside. So you guys can open it up. And when we go inside, it's literally so spacious if you can see it inside right here. So if you guys want to fit like maybe three people or four people inside, you definitely can. And what I recommend is that if you guys don't want to use a sandbag option, you can definitely put like your backpack or stuff inside right here to give you guys a lot more support. But if you guys notice for inner layer right here, they do have some pocket where you can put some more stand inside. Or if you guys want to use it for like storage to put like your phone or something, you guys can definitely do that on here. So they have one pocket there and they have one pocket here. And they also have this like mesh pocket for you guys to put stuff on the side right here if you guys do want to as well. And if we're top bar right here, they do give you guys an option for you guys to hang something on here. Maybe like a light or something to see stuff in the dark. And then the way how they designed the tent right here with the material that they use or the fabric, it feels like an insulated material or something because it actually feels super hot when I actually walk in here. And then like I mentioned for the window, if you guys want to open up, you guys can definitely open it up to get fresh air either on this side, this side, and this side. So just like that. So once I open up all three of this window, it definitely feels a lot more cooler because it basically opens up the insulated layer that we have right here. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but we do have like the mesh layer on here, like I mentioned. So that way bugs and everything cannot come in from the side. And then once you guys want to take it down, it's actually pretty easy as well. You just basically want to reverse the same step of what you guys saw in terms of how to set it up by taking out each one of the poles and just fold it back up. Now let me show you guys how to put it back away. So let's close back up the windows first. And also another tip that I do want to let you guys know is that when you guys do use a tent, you probably want to get like a sleeping pad or something underneath it. So that way when you guys do use it, you do have like a cushion underneath. But let's start taking it apart to show you guys how to disassemble it. So you guys want to unknot the ribbon first on both sides. Once you guys do that, you guys want to take your time and slowly take off the actual pole for C first. So right here. And you guys want to slowly let go, don't let go too fast. And you basically want to take it out and fold up each different section. Like I mentioned, it will probably be easier if you guys did get help to actually do it. Because when you do it by yourself, it takes more time. Alright, so we're done with that. And we'll put that on one side for now. Now let's do the same thing for A and B. A and B should be a little bit easier since it's shorter. So I'm put this back into the little bag. Same thing for other one. Let's also take off this one. We'll also put this inside the bag. And you basically wanna put this back into the blue bag. So once you guys put that back into the bag, then you guys wanna put this in as well, into the small one. And you guys wanna tie it back up. But once you guys put this away, then you guys wanna fold back up the tent. Stuff it back into the bag. You guys can be more organized in terms of how you guys fold it. All right, so we got it back in. Now you guys wanna stick this back in as well. And you guys wanna take your time to put it in. Try not to poke the bag. And you guys wanna put this back in as well. And then seal it back up with the drawstring option. 
So super easy to set it up and put away if you can see. And also the product is super portable if you can see right here. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now to unboxing and testing product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want one and need one of these. Especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality foldable tent that has a similar design that's on here where you guys can actually fold it back up when you guys are not using it. And also have like this window for you guys to open up for fresh air and has a door for you guys to close if you guys want to as well and so much more. Then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you actually do need. Welcome back guys. So nice little quick test about it. Definitely actually does work and actually works quite well. So obviously if you guys can see from the video, I actually set it up indoor. So I didn't need to use any of the tools to actually stick it onto the ground to hold it in place. But you do have the option to use the tool that they provide for you guys to do that if you guys do need to. But basically when I actually set up the tent, it's actually very spacious. So like I mentioned earlier, you can definitely fit like three or four people in here if you guys want to. And if you guys notice for the tent that we got right here, it is a one door design. So there's only one entrance for you guys to go in and out. They do have another one available that has two different entrances, one in the front and one in the back. So if you guys do prefer that one, you can get that instead. In terms of the color that we got right here, it's a blue color. They do have this available in other colors as well. So you definitely want to do your own research to see which one you prefer. But that is basically everything that's on product. Now to come boxing and testing product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want one of these ones, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality portable tent that you can use at the beach, in the grass, in the park, or anywhere else, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. <coughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you really do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.